Because we're using the REST architecture, we model messages as a resource. So we've got the message model here, and in the REST architecture there's a corresponding controller. There it is. The key line here is the line that creates a new message when you submit the form. That's this form here. Right here. So we submit the form, and then working through the association, we build a message using the message parameters. So current user dot messages dot build message params, and here's the message params. This is the strong parameters that enforces a security model. We require that each submission have a message, and we permit the content, but other submissions will be rejected. If we look in the views here, we've got app views. Let's take a look at what we've got here. App views messages. Here we've got a message form. Well, actually, let's look at the index here. So the index for messages, again, which is the kind of thing where it would be just in slash messages, illustrated here. We'll be running this in a moment, but I'm already running it, of course, just for illustration. The next section we'll fire it up ourselves. So here's the message index, and it just renders two partials. The messages, or the yeah, the messages partial here that says, let's render the messages if there are any, and then that defers this to uh, the message partial. Just a reminder that when you do render a list of things, Rails automatically looks for the singular version of this. It says, oh, it's actually not because of the name, it's because of the type. This could be foos. And as long as the messages controller said, Oh, I'm sorry, it's actually being rendered from the user's index, isn't it? I should see where it is. I don't know where it is offhand. So this is uh, messages. It's going to be messages equals. No, it's right here. Where is it? Oh, it's in the get messages. I see. Yeah, it's in, actually in the filter. So you can see here there's a before action here. If it's a uh, Before action is the name of it. It's generally called a before filter. So we're saying before action get messages, and that populates at messages with the messages for display. That's from the message model here, the, this name scope. And this, if we change this to foos, then the app would still work. In fact, we could verify that. Let's just save these. Take a look. So it, we probably use. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So we need to replace this with foos. Tests are great. The reason I'm doing this is just to emphasize that it's not the name of the variable; it's the type. So in this case, in here, we are populating the foos variable with messages. Right. It's a, because it's a message model. Rails in the partial here. Where is it? knows to render the partial that corresponds to the type of this. So because this is a message, or it's a list of messages, it's going to render each of these messages with this partial, the underscore message.html.erb. So the way it knows to use message here, the message partial, is because of the type of the model, the class of each of the objects in the, in the list. So this renders each message, and then the final thing here, we just pop our stack here, go back up to the top, and where were we? We were in the index, so we rendered the messages. That's this part here. We don't have any messages yet, but we will in the next section. And then we rendered the message form, which is here. And that shows up right here. That's the form. All right, let's restore that. Let's undo the foos here before we move on and then here let's just rerun our test suite just to be double sure great 